Okay, time to have a look at uh, single displacement reactions, how you predict whether or not a single displacement reaction can happen. Because for any of these chemical combinations, you can predict um, one, the element switching place with the other element that's either similarly positive or similarly negative, and you could predict what it would make, but just because you can predict it on paper doesn't mean it will actually happen. So. Let's talk about how you actually predict whether or not this would happen, if the chemical reaction is even possible. For starters, if you're only predicting, you don't even need to work them out. You look them up here on this chart, the activity series of metals, which will be provided to you on the exam, it'll look just like this. Now, um, the activity series basically tells you which metals can replace which ones. Or we also have one for the halogens over here, which halogens can replace which halogens. And here's the rule. We'll look at it as applies to this first case here. The question is, can sodium come and knock calcium out of its place and make calcium go become a free element? And the answer is yes, if sodium has a higher activity level, basically a... Um, is more easily oxidized. So ease of oxidation. Um, so if sodium is higher on the list than calcium, then the answer is yes, sodium can replace it and cause it to happen. If, on the other hand, sodium is not above calcium on the list, this reaction cannot happen. So looking at the list, I can say right now and I'll zoom this in a bit so that uh, it's easier for you, the viewer, to see. I can say right now, sodium is not above calcium on the list. Therefore, no reaction. Or I can even just say, no, it won't happen. Okay, let's look at the next one. Lead. And iron nitrate, iron 3 nitrate, rather. Um, this will happen if lead is above iron on the list. So looking at the list, there's lead. Is it above iron? The answer is no, it is not above iron. No reaction again. Okay, let's look at another one. Zinc and magnesium are the two you're going to deal with now. This will go if zinc is above magnesium on this activity series. So looking at it, and you're going to want to have your own handy because I can't keep this on screen the whole time for your convenience. Um, at any rate, zinc needs, in order for it to go, zinc has to be above magnesium. So I look at zinc. It's not above magnesium. It's yet another one that won't go. All right, now look at nickel and copper. Can you tell whether this reaction would happen? Again, you have to look and see, is nickel above copper on this activity series? Is it more easily oxidized? Well, there's nickel, and yes, it is above copper. Well, finally, there's a reaction that actually happens. Yes, it will happen. You'll have the nickel replace the copper. You'll get some sort of nickel bromide, and then you'll get uh, copper as an element. Okay, here's the rest of the list. Use your activity series to work out whether or not you think these would happen. And all now, and uh, pause the video right now as you work on that. And now I'll provide the answers. Silver is not above hydrogen on the list. Therefore, it can't replace hydrogen because positive silver would replace positive hydrogen. So the answer is no, silver is not above hydrogen on the list. Iron is above hydrogen on the list, so yes. Lead is above hydrogen on the list, so yes. Chlorine is not going to replace aluminum. It's going to replace bromine. Now chlorine becomes a negative ion, so does bromine. Like replaces like. So I look on the list over here. I see chlorine is above bromine, therefore, yes, chlorine can go in and kick the bromine out, 
and make the bromine become its, a separate molecule or yeah, become separate as an element, giving products of bromine plus aluminum chloride. But at any rate, because it's possible, I'm going to say yes. Is chlorine above fluorine? No, it is not. This reaction won't happen. Is bromine above iodine? Yes, it is. This reaction will happen. That's it.